If you're starting out playing acoustic guitar, there's a likelihood that you are looking at guitar packs. And today, Cooper and I are going to be comparing two of the most popular acoustic guitar packs on the market from both Yamaha and Fender, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name's Chris McKee. I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Spring Store link below for our custom designed shirts. So Cooper, your first acoustic guitar was not in a pack, right? Not a pack. Mine also was not a pack. Mine was from Mexico and it was really, really bad. Not saying that there's actually really good guitars from Mexico. Mine was 50 bucks, so it was bad. You got a really nice one though, right? Yeah, I mean, I had, so there was a few that were kind of in my family already, so I kind of co-opted those. I had a little, uh, you know, three-quarter size nylon string. My mom had a Fender Dreadnought. Oh, there you um, go. So it was nice. It was a little big for me at the time. But, um, you know, it was the thing. Weren't you the same height that back then? Though? I was, yeah. <laughs> I was born just like this. Full head of teeth. <laughs> and uh, no, but the thing is, it was always my excuse to go to Alamo Music because I was like, I need picks, yeah. I need to drive all this different stuff. If I had the pack, I wouldn't have gotten to know you guys. I wouldn't work here now. So it's well, now I'm... you're saying why not to buy a pack. Yeah, exactly. That's if not you what this video is out... about, Cooper. It's yeah. why you should buy the pack. <laughs> so when do you think that packs became in kind vogue? Of a stand yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You know, I think it started with the electric packs, which we've done a video comparing, by the way. So if you haven't seen that, click on the link above. And we compared Yamaha's electric guitar pack with Fender's Squire pack. And I got to think, at least in the last 20 years, I don't know, they might predate that, but I specifically remember in the last 20 years those packs being a thing. Yeah. And being a very popular choice, particularly parents buying gifts at Christmas time. That's when we sell the most packs. Yeah. Is we sell the most acoustic guitar packs and electric guitar packs at Christmas time. Because it's a no brainer. You kind of get everything that you need. Yeah. And one of the problems when you're buying a guitar as a gift or even for yourself when you're starting out is, what do I need? Yeah. You know, and if you watch this channel enough, hopefully that's less of a question and we've answered it for you. But I think, you know, the idea was for manufacturers, most of the time, if people are going into a store and they're working with a sales staff like ours, and you're buying a guitar, generally, the sales staff will make recommendations. Mm -hmm. Hey, you should probably get some picks, a tuner, a strap, a case, or gig bag. We have lesson books. Like, that was kind of the classic go-to. Yeah. Maurice did that all the time. He did it to he me. He did it with you. Yeah. <laughs> just like, put it up at the counter. This is everything yeah, you need. get this, get this. Oh. And yeah. now it's just, you just grab a box. You grab a box, and it's cool because both of these guitars, like you can get outside of the pack, and then you can mm -hmm. get all of the extra stuff outside of the pack, and it will come out to more than just buying the pack. I mean, it's a nice little bundle sort of discount thing. Um, and these are pretty similar, but there's a few things with the accessories that are different, and maybe some tonal things with the guitars. I'm not sure how drastic they'll be, but yeah. I'm looking forward to hear. Let's talk about what we have. So you've got the Fender FA-115 acoustic guitar pack, mm -hmm. and I have the Yamaha Gig Maker. This is the F325D for Dreadnought. They're both Dreadnought acoustic guitars. Um, they're both uh, basically laminate construction, top, back, and sides. And they're both from reputable manufacturers who really kind of own this price point when it comes to acoustic yeah. guitars. Uh, each one of these has a certain selection of accessories and what we want to do is kind of unpack these on camera so you can see from our experience what it would look like if you buy either one of these. So let's uh, look at what is in that one first. So you've got the guitar. Yes and then with the FA-115 you get some picks, some Fender picks, um, some Fender strings, so a set of 12s. Um, a strap and a gig bag, which, I mean, off the top of my head, I'd be thinking, where's the tuner? Well, they've got you covered there, though, if you have a smartphone. Yep. And what seven-year-old doesn't? Exactly. Because they're all on yeah. TikTok anyway. Um, so, yeah, you get an app, which I've downloaded this app, by the way, and it's actually a really nice tuning app. Is it a free app? It's a free app. Okay. So, so they instead of including a tuner... Fender saves some money, and they've created an app instead that you can download, and it works really, really well. Uh, and then this has another bonus. Yeah, it actually has two extra bonuses. So 
It comes with three months of Fender Play, um, which is Fender's proprietary lesson program. And also, if you didn't see the video that we did on this pack specifically and why we like it as a beginner guitar, it also comes with a little bit of our lessons. That's right. A little teaser. So you get access to the beginner lessons. You kind of have both. I would say that ours are nice and comprehensive. Fender Play, it's very cool. Also comprehensive, so you can kind of cover all the bases, have several different guitar teachers, and it's a great way to learn. Well, and it's limited. It's three months of Fender Play. So you can start with yeah. one and then do the other. Exactly. You yeah. know, or if you just prefer to take lessons from Cooper, you can do that. Try uh, it out. Yeah, and <laughs> so if you buy one of these from us, just a little side note, um, we have a code for you that will be included in the shipment or in the store, yeah. a little code to get on our lesson program, uh, which I think have come out really nicely. And of all the extra things, I'd say for the absolute beginner, some tutorial stuff is probably the nicest yeah. add-on there. So, Extra pack of strings because how many people break their strings tuning for the first time? A whole lot. A lot. It's a rite of passage. I'll tell you a nice thing about the tuning app is that it has an automatic tuning option and it has a manual tuning option. And what's nice is you can hear the note. And that's important when you're starting off. Most people break strings tuning a guitar for the first time because they don't know what the pitch should be. Yeah. They don't have that reference point yet. And so that's a nice little kind of yeah. gimme there. That's cool. Let's talk about the gig maker. Um, so this one comes with your acoustic guitar. Um, and you've got a digital clip-on tuner. Okay, so you actually have the tuner in hand. Guitar picks, guitar strap, and a gig bag. No extra strings on this one. There's something else that that one has that this one doesn't have that actually most people would probably dismiss. If you're buying this for your, yourself, it doesn't matter. But if this is a gift, the box is way better. I'm just gonna say. Like, that's a nicer box. Yeah, it's good looking packaging. And if it's something you're putting under a tree or wrapping for a gift, it's nice. So, but this one's nice. It's got a nice little picture on it, but the rest is just a cardboard box. So, I think we should get into it and uh, see how these are packed and yeah, what's got them. So, yours is. Yeah, is I think yours I'm taped good to or? go. I don't think it's taped. It's not taped. Okay. It comes in a bigger box and then there's a littler box that is yeah. easier access. Mine is glued and it weighs 11 pounds. And you can stack them six high on a pallet according to the box. Yours is already wedge shaped. Mine yeah. is not because they use the space to put all of the goodies in. So I've got my gig bag. You got your gig, gig bag. bag. Does mine say, oh yeah, mine says Yamaha. That's nice. And these are gig bags that are not in any way super protective, but you'll be surprised once you put the guitar in it, it actually does a pretty decent job. I have to get the other bag. So it's interesting, on the box, it shows the new branded Fender strings. But those are the old branded. Fi those old are like school. really old branded. Like, I don't remember when Fender did strings like that. It's like circa 1998 yeah, or something. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. So you got rare vintage <laughs> stuff in here. Great that's for the cool. resale value. If you keep these in the package, you're good to go. Okay, so this comes with some interesting stuff that is not really mentioned so far on the outside of the box. So I've got a strap. You got your strap? I got my strap. Okay, basic. Look like about the same Probably strap. Probably the same. Black nylon strap. I've got picks and a variety of colors that have the Yamaha logo on them. You have Fender picks, I assume. I can't find them, but I'll find them. Uh, we got Fender Play code. Okay. And an Allen wrench for Adjusting what things. every beginner does is adjust their treasure. Don't do that. Do not adjust things on your guitar if you don't know what you're doing. Here's my tuner, a GCT1 Yamaha. And it's a chromatic tuner, which is nice, because that means it's not only going to be for EADGBE. You yeah. can tune your guitar differently, and it'll pick it up since it's chromatic. And then this is interesting. It has official support app for Yamaha owners. So there's a QR code to go to the Yamaha player port, and they don't really talk about that on here, do they? Mm -mm. Why not? Picks. Okay, someone, Yamaha Guitar Group Marketing, your box should include this on the outside. Free tuner. Nice. And then tips and tricks. So they've got tips and tricks, not really lessons. It's like how to hold, the right way to hold a pick and how do I read chord charts? Um, how and when to use a capo, tuning your guitar, the harmonics method. So some basic things, but it doesn't look like actual lessons. 
So, uh, but still pretty cool. You guys should be mentioning that. You know where uh, stuff like that, you can also find that information? The website? Alamo Music, Lesson Plan, all the basics, how to hold it, how to tune it, all that stuff. Now, if you didn't catch that on camera because it didn't pick it up, that's a pro move right there. Hold the box with your feet while you that's pull the other box. I've got tape. But it's okay because in Texas, I got a knife. All right. Someone pointed out my knife once that he also had the, the Gerber. I got a Gerber in the car. I've got a bunch of Gerbers. I lost that Gerber and bought another Gerber, and then I found it under the, the couch of my RV, so. They call it the Gerber baby. The Gerber baby. Okay, and so I've got in here, I'm not gonna pull it out, but there is a pack with some other warranty information and an Allen wrench. So once again, the Allen wrench is there. Please do not make adjustments on your new guitar if you don't know what you're doing. Is yours in tune? Surely not. No, I don't think so. That's good for me. <laughs> it's close enough for government work. All right. Now, typically, if you ever wonder why this is here, this is not just like to prove the guitar is new. These guitars are coming from overseas, and they are made in a very humid environment, and then they travel on ships, and they're sealed up in those. But this is further protection against the strings corroding. And how you like that finish? That's fantastic. Isn't that nice? A little three color sunburst. Yeah, I like that that's a, an option because you can get this in natural mm -hmm. too. Um, so yeah, laminate spruce top and a sunburst finish. Authentic laminate NATO back and sides, NATO neck. Fretboard said it could either be laurel or walnut. This I think that's one, walnut. I think this back and sides is like a sinker redwood. <laughs> No, probably not. Um, yeah, all laminate. I'm sure that this is. It's probably like NATO. Or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That tends to be. It's a very inexpensive, but you know, pretty stable wood that's utilized overseas because they have easy access to it. So it makes perfect sense. Yeah, the NATO. I love their work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so the thing is, it's not in tune. It shouldn't be in tune. What like if it's NATO? Let's see if mine's in tune. That's. That's what I'm talking about right there. Um, I think they're basically the same exact guitar. A couple different things that are different. They are very similar. They have different pick guards. The, the bridges, I mean, obviously the designs are slightly different. Um, you know, it's interesting looking at this because of the, the wood. There's actually binding around the neck on this guitar. Yours isn't bound, is it? Yeah, it's got, it's just it hard is. to well, see. Yeah. yeah, I guess they are bound. Well, that's nice. So there's binding on both of them. The necks are going to be slightly different now. Yours is glossed, right? Yeah, gloss everywhere. <coughs> this is a typical thing. We've compared a lot of Fender and Yamaha acoustics because they both make really good kind of budget-minded acoustic guitars. And uh, typically the Yamahas are satin finish on the back of the neck and the Fenders are gloss finish. And that's kind of preference. You might prefer one or the other. I tend to, I think we both tend to prefer mm -hmm. a satin feeling neck, but usually the neck shape of the fender is really nice. Yeah, this is not a bad feeling neck. The biggest issue, and we've said it time and time again with guitars in this price range, I think the only problem you're, you might run into is the frets. Yes. Mine are not really sharp, are yours? No, these are not bad. There's a couple points, um, but it's kind of like, case by case basis, as Adriana would say. It kind of comes down to this, and I, I find it working itself out. In, in the past, when manufacturers would have some inconsistency, it came down to the wood being kind of, uh, what's the word, uh, seasoned correctly. Mm -hmm. So these are, like I just said, they're built overseas, South Pacific uh, in Asia. It's very humid. If in the factory environment, the wood is not seasoned correctly, it doesn't have enough moisture pulled out, and then they build the guitar with it, then what will happen in its truck over here to the US, um, in its ship, in those containers, is it will then dry out. And um, so then you'll get sharp frets, you, the yeah. neck will move on you. And they made a lot of strides. I, mm -hmm. I mean, Yamaha's are pretty solid. Uh, you know, I haven't really seen a lot of manufacturers dealing with that issue much. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think two, 
not to be too picky because these are good, really nice value guitars, is the, you know. Yeah, they're both scratchy frets. Some scratchy frets, which just feels a little unpleasant. Um, but if you're you starting know, out, you probably don't know any yeah, better until not. Cooper told you. Now, now, now you've ruined a form, Cooper. Now That's they've got to polish their frets. Um, you polish your frets and adjust your truss rod day one when you get these guitars. Um, but you know, we probably some of the highest selling products that we have are these two packs. They're really good quality, I think, as compared to maybe other. I'm, I'm not trying to bash Amazon. We've done that plenty on this channel. Well, it's not Amazon's fault. It's the it's the manufacturers who also sell on Amazon yeah. and do a lot of marketing that's that's frankly false. Yeah. And they put out these packs at a really low price. And even with these guitars, you have to understand that if a manufacturer can sell a guitar through a dealer like us for under $200, which both of these guitar packs are, mm -hmm. then they're making it at a price point where they have enough money from what they, we sell it at and what we buy it at for them to be making money, right? Yeah. Everyone's making money. That's how business works. And so you have to do it at a high enough volume with the right materials in a factory environment. Like so many things that go into it. And so knowing all that, when a, when a company puts a guitar pack on Amazon for like 40 bucks, they can't be spending more than like $5 to make the guitar. Yeah. And all the accessories and box it and ship it and everything. Yeah. And that just tells you kind of what you're getting. Yeah. I, you, I wanted to ask you, so I, I, neither of these are up to pitch, but the action already seems really nice on this one. Yeah, this one's not bad either. It's maybe would need a tiny bit of adjustment, but typically I find with a lot of entry-level guitars, the action's so high and it discourages new players because it hurts your hands mm -hmm. so much. Uh, this is really not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's easy to press down the strings and that's kind of the first thing that will start hurting is your fingertips and then your kind of like carpal muscle area, you know, metacarps, well, let's, phalange. Let's tune them up and get your fingers to hurt. Uh, we're going to demo th both of them. I suspect they'll sound pretty similar, mm -hmm. but Cooper's going to put them through their paces for you just so you can hear. Let's do so, it. Check it out. Okay, so these are both great value acoustic guitars. I think 
most beginners would be happy with this. By the way, we're talking about action and things that are really working on this. If you're starting out and you don't know, that's the distance from the string to the fretboard. These have both great action. Mm -hmm. They've got pretty good sound to them for what they are. And here's what this is to me, Cooper. This is a testimony to how good manufacturing of guitars is becoming. Yeah. Um, I spent some time with George Groon of Groon's Guitars in Nashville. Very famous, literally wrote the book on like vintage guitars, Martins. He's forgotten more than either of us know. Uh, shared an Uber with him and had some great conversations. And some of the things that he would tell me of going back into like, like in the 70s, the beginner guitars that would come in in the 70s, the 80s, even the early 90s were garbage. Like they would, the necks would twist and bow and come apart and all sorts of things. You know, yeah. you, the only quality, guita quality guitars are really expensive, typically US made guitars and that was yeah. it. Yeah, and I feel like with two brands like Yamaha and Fender, Squire, they're not gonna put their name on something that they don't think is a good value, that they don't think is good quality. And so, I mean, I think these are probably two of the most affordable guitars that we have in the store. Mm -hmm. And they're really, I mean. And you get the accessories with it. Yeah, it's a really good deal. And, you know, they sound really good for your first guitar and they will inspire you, be easy enough to play, yep. um, to like keep, keep you going and want to, you know, move up and keep practicing and all that. That's kind of what you say all the time is it's got to be comfortable for you to want to sit down and practice on it. It so. has to inspire you in some way. Yeah. I think most people who want to learn to play guitar are already inspired. And the last thing that we want is for someone to buy a guitar that then removes that inspiration for them. I often say on the channel that like the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing. And I really do mean that, you know, we can all day long, we can get caught up in like specs and manufacturers, builders, models, tone woods, yeah. body shapes, all of that stuff. But if you boil it down at the end of the day, I don't care if it costs you 150 bucks or it costs you $15,000. The best guitar is the one that you're playing. It's not the one that's sitting in the case. It's not the one that's hanging on the wall. It's not the one that you bought or was it was given to you and you never picked it back up again. It's the one that you are making music in. Yeah. And, and so whether it's the Fender, it's this Yamaha, both of these should be a starting point for your inspiration so that you can learn to play the instrument. At some point, you will move on from both of these. These would be starting points. They would not be where you stay as a guitar player. And yeah. that's, the, that's actually, <laughs> these represent hope yeah. in the life of a musician, you know, or, or a, a, a budding musician. They represent what is to come, and they're both great options for it. Yeah, definitely. Very well said. Good guitars. You can learn all the in-depth specs on the website um, before leaving stuff out. But, I mean, they pretty much cover all the bases. I think they even each other out in terms of, you know, the accessories and the value and stuff. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice. They're so nice if you're for looking sure. for, to get started, you're looking for a pack or you're looking for an affordable guitar, we have information about these on our website and a lot of others. In fact, we put together bundles ourselves that manufacturers don't do because we know that there's certain things that go with the guitar. So if that's you, go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can click on the guitar bundles page. You can chat with someone. Sometimes Cooper's on there. You can pick his brain and find the guitar that really suits your needs so that whatever you buy, if you're just starting out or if you're a tenured guitar player, it is something to fuel your inspiration to keep playing guitar. Because it is true, the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to start with lessons and maybe you already have your guitar, you can also find those through our Patreon page, Become an Alamo Music Insider. The link to that is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.